Hi Smart Minds, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a pixel art creator in Scratch. This is way simpler than you think, so let's get started. Open a blank project and don't. Don't delete the Scratch card. Be kind. Paint a new sprite and we need a square of 44 pixels. And if you zoom in, you could see this square. So this one square equals 4 pixels. So to draw a square with a length of 44 pixels, we need 11 of these squares. So click on this square and hold down your shift and that will draw a perfect square. And now place it on the center, set our outline to 0. So zoom it until it's 44 pixels. So you can see it's 42. And now you can see it's 44 pixels. All right, now let's fill this to white and name this to pixel. Select it and set the saturation to 100. All right, now let's code this pixel. When we fly clicked, we need to make a block called grid. And make sure you tick run without screen refresh because we need to make the grid instantly. And drag this grid and let's define the set size to 50. Switch costume to our white costume. This is costume number one. Go to X, negative to 50 and Y 150. So let's draw the backdrop, click on backdrops and now just click on the green flag and I can see we got this pixel. So to make the grid we need to change our X by 23. We need to go to X negative 250, Y 150 and change X by 23 which is here. And then we need to create a clone of myself. And then we need to change X by 23 and make a clone again. Change X by 23, create a clone again. And we need to repeat this process. So for that, grab a repeat block. Let's say repeat 14, change X by 23 create clone of myself. Now click on that green flag. Now you can see we got a row of 14 squares. So to make a grid we need another 14 of these rows. So for that let's change the y by negative 23. Set our x to negative 250. We need to change our y by 23 which brings us here. And then we need to go all the way back to the beginning, which is negative 250. And then we need to recreate clones. So for that, grab another repeat. So this is the height. We need to repeat 14 and repeat the same thing. So now let's test it. And now I can see we got this whole grid. So you could add any value you want. So this is the height and this is the width. Let's say five, make this eight. So yeah, you could just add any input you want. So okay, we are done with that. So now click on backdrops and delete this. And now you cannot see the grid. So that because we didn't code the border yet. So simply right click, duplicate, name this as border and delete the costume too. Select this and we need to make it 48 pixels. 48, then make it 48. We need to set our outline to six and no fill. So we just need the border. So grab the show block and the end height. So now let's test it. Now you can see we only got almost a half of the borders. Why did that happen? So that's because Scratch 300 clone limits. In Scratch, there's a clone limit of 300 and we have reached the clone of 300. So what should we do now? Well, there's an answer for that. 
So click on extension and select the pen. And now drag the pen block, drag the stamp and click on stamp. And now let's drag it and now you can see we got clones of our scratch cat. So why didn't we use this on our original pixel script? So what would stamp would do, it will make an exact copy and one of the major downside of stamping is you cannot edit it and of course it's really bad quality. So that's why we did not use this on our original pixel sprite. But for the border, we don't need to edit the border. So for that, we could just simply grab the stamp. We need to go to front layer. And let's just erase all. Hide the scratch cat. And now let's run it. And I can see we got the border. Now we need to draw just like I showed you in the intro. So for that, click on this pixel sprite and let's finish this grid script. We need to set our size to 100, switch costume to our red costume, this is costume number 2 and we need to go to X 169 and Y60. Now let's make two new variables called color. For all sprites, brightness for all sprites and right click on these and select slider and change the slider range to 20 and 20 and now let's place it here and when green flag click forever we need to set our color effect to color times 10 and we need to set our brightness effect so we need to set our brightness effect brightness so now let's test it and I can see we can adjust the color and the brightness. So now what about our saturation? So for that simply just we need to subtract 10 from our brightness and times 10. And now let's run it. Rename this brightness to saturation. And now with this square thing we could see the color that we are choosing. So now click on the pixel again and when I start as a clone we need to forever drag a if statement and touching mouse pointer and mouse down then we need to just duplicate set color and set brightness we need to switch costume to costume 2 which is the red costume now let's give it a test and now you can see we can draw so this is really cool and really really simple so now how do we erase so for that just make a variable called erase for all sprites we need to set erase to n when I start as a clone, grab a if else equals n. If erase equals n, we need to switch costume to costume 2. Else we need to switch costume to costume 1 and clear graphic effects. Now click on paint a new sprite. Now let's go to buttons. And let's call this paint duplicate and call this erase rename it to erase all right let's code our eraser when green flag click we need to go to our x and y position so you could just set it to anywhere you want forever grab if else touching mouse pointer 
then we need to set our brightness effect to 10 else 0 and when this sprite is clicked we need to set our erase to white and set our brightness effect to negative 100 copy both of these sprites to your paint sprite and when this sprite is clicked set erase to n now let's run it and oh got a bug so to fix that click on pixel just drag this if touching mouse pointer and mouse down so make sure you change the position of your paint button and now let's test it now you can see we could paint let's use the erase and we could erase stuff click on the paint again set our color we now we could paint and erase in our pixel editor if you like the video make sure to give it a like and consider subscribing and if you want to make another awesome project like this make sure to check this video